Sao de Crap. Welcome to Puget Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm JP Mestanza, and it's Friday, June 14th. Let's start with our top story. A 27-year-old man is now in custody after he attacked a 21-year-old woman in her rented room in Chalong yesterday morning, June 13th, allegedly trying to choke her in the attack. Chalong police were called to the room in Chalong at 8.10 a.m. after local residents heard the woman. Reports say he arrived to her room and was allegedly belligerent when he tried to attack her, putting his hands on her neck, according to police. The suspect, 27-year-old Wirayut, was semi-incoherent and appeared to be under the influence of drugs, police noted, as they took him to Chalong Police Station for questioning. The project that was supposed to see volunteer lawyers provide free legal services at Phuket City Police Station and Patong Police Station starting last Sunday, well, it's now on hold while the project organizers at the Lawyer Council of Thailand wait for budget approval from the government. The service was supposed to see volunteer lawyers with English-speaking capabilities provide free legal assistance to Thais and foreigners, including tourists, in trouble with the law at the two main police stations in Phuket as part of a nationwide project that aimed to have some 10,000 lawyers take part in providing free legal advice to an estimated 20, 250,000 people in need over six months. But now the project is on hold as the Lawyers' Council await for funding to compensate the lawyers for their service. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha has exercised the all-powerful Section 44 to bring more than 20,000 illegal hotels and accommodation services nationwide under better state control and boost safety for guests. The order, issued in his capacity as Chief of the National Council for Peace and Order, is aimed at making accommodation services which have violated laws related to land use, city planning, building control, and hotel businesses legal. The order notes that many people lease their buildings, houses, or apartments in the same manner as hotels without permission or proper management. The order specifically stresses the need to have all hotels meet regulations in dealing with fires, which must be done within 90 days of the order's announcement in the Royal Gazette this Wednesday. Puget Extra right back after this. Visit us in Patong or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. 18 illegal Myanmar migrants were arrested today after they had been in hiding in a forest in Sadao district for four days without food while waiting for transport to Malaysia. A Myanmar woman who took care of the illegal migrants was later caught. A team of anti-human trafficking officials, police and soldiers found the migrants in a forest about two kilometers deep from the road this morning. All of them, 16 in total, had taken refuge in a makeshift tent camouflaged by leaves, according to reports. So far, one person has been arrested, the alleged caretaker of the group. Through an interpreter, the migrants told police that a broker had sent them to the forest four days ago and told them not to make any noise. They had been eating banana stems and drinking water from a creek to survive. The caretaker told police that she had been waiting on money being sent from Malaysian brokers and she had been waiting also until a vehicle was sent to transport them to Malaysia. Donations reached 1.2 million baht as of today for a 12-year-old boy who recently sought a one-year school break so he can take care of younger siblings and relatives while his grandparents are out scavenging to support the family. Atit Am Morkam, the 12-year-old in Nakon Rachasima province, had earlier this week sought permission from his teachers for a one-year school break to take care of four children between three months to six years old, three of them siblings, one of them a cousin of his, all who live with him in a small makeshift house. While his mother had left to work in the city, the four children were left to live with his grandmother and they all lived reportedly in a garbage dump for over a decade of his life before the grandmother came to meet and marry another man, and they all now live in a makeshift building. But both grandparents now scavenge for food and money, making 200 baht a day. So Artit asked to take a leave from school in order to work. 
After Thai media caught wind of his story, donations began to pour in, especially from local officials and teachers in the Corrachasima, totaling 1.2 million bots. And now the academically gifted Atit is said to be staying in school, while reports say the local administrators will keep some of the money in order to pay for the education of all the other younger members of the family, with a portion also going to improve their house. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until Monday, stay classy, Phuket's.